A grown man doing a jigsaw puzzle while a nine-year-old girl begs for lunch, asking her father to open up a can of baked beans? It's the year 2021, and we all wanted to leave 2020 in the past. We all wanted a fresh start, a new chapter, where we live with a renewed sense of hope and inspiration that people generally are good. And then along comes Bean Dad. Bean Dad, aka John Roderick, a Twitter user who oddly enough has a podcast with Jeopardy legend Ken Jennings, went viral over the weekend with a 15 tweet thread talking about the time he psychologically tortured his nine year old daughter who wanted to open up a can of baked beans for lunch but didn't know how to use a manual can opener. So what did Bean Dad do? He said he sat there doing a jigsaw puzzle waiting for his daughter to learn how to use the old tool of the past on her own, offering no help or instructions, letting her starve physically while he mentally and emotionally tortured her by being a father who refuses to give help to his own offspring. It's one of the most preposterous Twitter threads of all time. We are currently living in a golden era where parents of Twitter try to go viral with made up stories about their seven year old daughter and my five year old son said this, but Bean Dad and his nine year old girl take the cake. There are certain moments on the internet that are defining moments in time. There are certain characters on the internet that make everything stop. They go so viral and they have so much instant discussion and such a visceral reaction of hatred towards them that you can't help but give them a new nickname. Moments like the Bagel Boss. You're not God or my father or my boss. Bagel Boss, this little tiny midget who wanted to kill someone over a cinnamon raisin bagel, we instantly knew we had a star on our hands, a complete fucking lunatic who we needed to name and discuss and remember forever. Guys like Martin Shkreli, he became Pharma Bro because he was such an incredible selfish asshole we needed to all have a name for him so that we could discuss him and talk about him and be on the same page. That is Bean Dad. 2021 kicks off, we're all talking about how it's gonna be better than 2020 and within seconds we are reminded how horrible humanity is from Bean Dad. What nine-year-old girl do you know who wants to eat baked beans for lunch? What the fuck ever happened to dino nuggets and some grilled cheese? What's next? Are you gonna cook her beets? Maybe a beet salad for your nine-year-old daughter. Maybe she'll have some lentils and some leeks for dinner. What the fuck are we talking about here? If you're gonna make up a story about your nine-year-old daughter, at least make it somewhat plausible. If you're gonna make yourself look like a gigantic asshole on the internet, at least make it reasonable. A baked beans for lunch when she learns to use a can opener? Why would she know how to use a can opener? She's nine. You, do you know how you open up a can if you're nine years old? You ask your fucking parents to open it for you. You shouldn't even be teaching them. People are making the argument, oh, you should have taught her how to squeeze it and turn it. No, you shouldn't even teach a nine-year-old how to open a can. You should just fucking open the can for them. You shouldn't even be opening baked beans for them because they're nine. Immediately, the discussion was on, the debate was raging in the comments. Is this an abusive father versus, oh no, this is just a funny story. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. If this was a real story, that there'd actually be a parent who would treat their nine-year-old daughter this way, or if it's a fake story and we live in a world where someone thought that was entertaining and funny. Let me make up this story and send 15 tweets about it because that's what's gonna get me retweets and that's what's gonna get me laughs. I don't know what's worse. Live in a world with abusive parents or live in a world with parents that unfunny. It's a coin toss. But as always, the internet acted swiftly and justly with <laughs> internet 1.0 justice. Immediately Bean Dad's past was dug up with many bizarre tweets with racial slurs and bad off-color racist jokes. Within hours, he deleted his account with one of the better Twitter ball don't lie moments. Oh, you thought Bean Dad was funny? Let's leave it up to the internet gods. Let's dig up his old tweets and we'll find out. If he's racist and canceled, then he's an asshole. If not, it was a funny story. See you fucking later, Bean Dad. You're either an asshole father or the most unfunny person on the internet and either way, get the fuck out. And honestly, now that Bean Dad's gone, all I can think about is how I want him back. I need more Bean Dad. I need more stories about baked beans and canned goods. I need more made up tales about you emotionally abusing your children because I, I can't possibly imagine living in a world where there are actual humans like this. I need more access to this kind of guy. Uh, we need to study Bean Dad. We need to like donate his brain to science. We need to find out how it's possible that me and you, normal humans, could be the same species as this 
gigantic, living, breathing, human asshole. Bean Dad was a scientific discovery for all of humanity to learn from and grow from. Bring back Bean Dad. Save the children of the future. Feed the children of the future. Bring back Bean Dad as an example.